right, let's check out the video store. Okay, I don't know what they are. This is a collection since I was a kid of just uh, oh tapes God. that I've accumulated. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh, you just, I feel like we, you know, like, uh -huh. when you're going to Disneyland, have you been? Oh, uh, yeah. And you walk. Well, Disney World, I've been. You know when you walk through the gate and it says, you are now leaving the land of the living. Or not living, but <laughs> you're now leaving the real world. Oh, the mansion, maybe. I don't know. No, yeah, that one. But it's, yeah. it's like, you're now entering the world of imagination, right? Yeah. I feel like from there to here, I, I left 2015. And I came back to 1990. Yes, and that is exactly <laughs> the goal here because I just wanted to uh, preserve. Because every everything I do is some kind of preservation of the past. Yeah. I just want to keep alive the memory of the video store because this was a, a pastime. And I know you're, you're you're a little bit younger. This is pretty amazing. Yeah, see, that's the thing. In your videos, you got yeah. you, you got this 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 wonderful preservation of the past thing going. Yeah. You even got the see. I'll tell you where you beat where you beat me and everyone else. The freaking wood paneling. Oh, man. you gotta have the wood paneling. <laughs> This where we would have the Bugs Bunny fights here and all that kind of stuff, but I, here I, it would be in the same. Yeah, like yeah. actually, it's unbelievable how this room has gone through so many changes. Because I, I put up these walls, these walls. Oh, because this wasn't here. No, it wasn't. So I, I I'm gonna probably change it again too. Um, actually, but, uh, it was funny. Right, right down there where those Transformers tapes are. Yeah. That's where James would get like the pie in the face and all that. Yeah, it happened like right. I think the probably was, seventeen shits happened where you yeah, shit on something. Pretty much about. I maybe. shat in the Bugs Bunny like shit turd balls like right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. I, I, I don't know. This is like. I, so you when did you put this up then? Oh, this was pr a couple years ago. Oops. Oh, dude. Fucking uh, Harold Ramis's head is coming off over here. Yeah, it's like you gotta save this type of stuff because it's all just gonna like you know disappear one day. Good night, sweet prince. Yeah. So he, this is one he of died the old last year, didn't he? He did, yeah. yeah that's and terrible. Uh, they're still talking about Ghostbusters. Well, Dan Aykroyd said if the female Ghostbusters movie is a hit, then. <laughs> I mean, but they'll do it. No, they can't I, do it again. They lost their chance. They lost. They, there is a zero percent chance they'll get Harold Ramis in it. Yeah. <laughs> there's just nothing like it's like when when you know he went there's just nothing left he was the most important uh person i think to the whole honestly well i thought it's it was pretty much bill murray is the one that everybody bill murray is the one everybody loves so much yeah i i have nothing against bill murray I, okay you know what this might be blasphemous to say especially in a in, in these hot hallowed grounds of, <laughs> you know why do people love bill murray so much um, why do them, I guess as much as why they love anybody so much. I guess, but it feels like Bill Murray gets like an he gets in a, I'll tell you what it is, it's cause he's, he, it's cause he's mysterious and down to earth. That's yeah. gotta be what it is. Yeah, he's, a, he's got a little bit of, um, you know, he's a little eccentric. He's a little unpredictable. I think that kind of, um, makes him more, uh. Yeah, you could tell he's like, kind of like anti-establishmentary. He doesn't yeah. want to follow the system. So I guess that's appealing. People can like, feel it. Yeah. But what, what is there's this? the original tape. Oh, well, it's, just, it's a VHS store promo and there's the tape that goes with it. My daughter actually ripped it apart. She, oh my God. It, uh, but there's, there's all kinds of promos you can find. Like these ones, I, I try to collect anything Universal Monsters that I can. <laughs> and they'd have the little hand out here's, you know, at a frighteningly. Oh my God, you have a bunch of them. Yeah. At a frighteningly low price of 14 1998 each. Yeah, crazy. Where do you even get price. this stuff? Where does he get this stuff? <laughs> yeah. I stole my Blockbuster card. <laughs> oh, dude. No, dude, I, I saved this somewhere. Dude, yeah. no, I, I remember. The thing is, though, did you guys have Hollywood video? Was that a West Coast thing? Oh, um, we had Hollywood oh, video. Oh, there, there, there was yeah. some, yeah. There, there's... I liked them better. Okay. There's a West Coast. West Coast video was... Uh, they had a good porn there. section. Did they? What, I mean, are you serious? Uh, right, our porn <laughs> section's back here. Oh, yeah, right. it's like, let's see, that's uh, where you got the curtain, dude. Yeah. <laughs> now, there's also these promos. Now, these ones... <laughs> yeah. I didn't see what you were saying. He's like, pulling out and he just pulls out fucking giant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just pulled out the giant Dracula. <laughs> and you can see right here, it says, uh, 1993, Blockbuster. Oh, oh, that's a classic film. Oh yeah, terrible film. I wait. This one I haven't seen. This is a this is a Japanese one, right? Oh yeah, they they um it, see it was so confusing to 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 American audiences, I guess, because when that one came out, uh, Toho went back to making them again. They made them steady again after that, and then it was one every year for six years. But only the first one came out in theaters. I remember I was working at a movie theater at the time. I was just making popcorn, and that, that's what I did. <laughs> and I remember when that came out. Really? Yeah, and then I remember when that came out, when I was working at the movie theater and being the only person in there sitting alone in the theater watching it. And then I remember um, as I was working at the theater and hearing people's reactions as they'd walk out of it, they'd be like, well, why doesn't the voice match the mouth? And everything like that. And people <laughs> This thought, one? 2000? Yeah, and I think people thought it was a sequel to the Matthew Broderick No, one. see, because I thought that one was called Godzilla 2000. 
I, for some reason, oh, that, as a kid, oh, wasn't that made in 2000? That was 98. 98, no, no. You know what? I don't know what yeah. I thought that was called, but I knew well, that I've there was people, one called Godzilla. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was that one. Well, people made the same mistake because they were so close together. Actually, if you want to be technical, it, that wasn't even 2000. It was 99. It came out in the U.S. in 2000. So it's so. like a car. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, they, they named it the, before the year, yeah. It's like the new update on Godzilla. Yeah. Zero percent AP roar fine. <laughs> Good joke, guys. Car joke. Oh, look, they're trying real hard to make this one sound interesting. The dark side. Hey, half the people in the United States are just like, I just go outside to see this movie. It's called A Real Fucking Tornado, and I'm scared of it. See, Speed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the best part in speed is? What? You know when um when uh the, the ladies cross the street with the baby carriage, but it's full of like uh, like cans, like she was just like uh, oh, yeah. grocery shopping or something. And then when they're 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 riding the bus through, and then they they I think Sandra Bullock is like screaming like oh my god we're gonna hit the baby, and then they they hit the carriage, and then it just the, the cans go over. She thinks they hit a baby, so she's like crying. And then Keanu Reeves goes, it's just cans, just cans. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> so. You told me you've only. It just the... looks like a burden. Yeah, you've seen the first rock. This one was good. It was like a film, you know. And then I was it's at, like uh, a film. I was <laughs> at, you could just already see from the box out there. This is going nowhere. Like, like have we, let's see how it went from one to five. It went from dignified. It was a film to hey, millions of dollars, baby. <laughs> what even? I, I like. I, I, I like. I like. Like I turned. I, I seen this one I recently. Even I'd seen this one and it was fantastic. I mean, this is a classic. And then like this one came on and he was. Like doing a press conference and he's like, I don't even know what's happening in these films anymore. Yeah, you, you, you definitely need the connectors to go in between it. So are they all good? Well, okay. Um, first one, excellent, excellent movie. Second one, great sequel. Um, as, as good as you could possibly do with following up the first one. Actually, the second one really fits well with the first one. I, I think you'd like the second one. Uh, I'm good. sure these two are good. Yeah. Even, even three, three, even three. Yeah. Now, the third one, this is where Mr. T comes in. Is That's it, how you know it's getting good. It's just warming up. Not just Mr. T, Hulk Hogan as well. This is where it gets nuts with Rocky Three. Okay. Uh, this is this is Rocky like on steroids, basically. Probably literally. Yeah, I literally. Um, then we got Four, which is even more steroids. It's got a, it's got some dude giving him a BJ on the cover. <laughs> 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 I will say three and four are very entertaining. They're um. Uh, very macho, uh, but they're, they're, I don't know how to say it, I, I guess it's just, it depends what you're looking for, so, there you go. <laughs> I love how we're just going, like, travel through time right now, yeah. enjoying this. The Star Wars movies, uh, like, look at uh, all these different versions. Oh, do you have the ones before they got ruined? I do, Where yeah. are they? Well, they, they re-released them so many times, but the really old ones, let's see, oh, what do you these want? are beta, actually. Beta? Oh, yeah. Betamax? Yeah, there you go, Star Wars. Wasn't Betamax better? Betamax was superior to VHS. So much better. Why didn't that win? Yeah. Well, I think VHS won the battle because I, I, I suppose maybe it was cheaper or it was porn. I think porn, because they had more porn on VHS. Yeah, porn always drives um That's the true. winning. <clears throat> Betamax is actually higher quality. Than it is, yeah. yeah. It's like Laserdisc, except Laserdisc makes sense why they didn't fucking yeah. take, because Laserdisc is stupid. Oh, uh -huh. It's like this big, isn't it? It's like a vinyl. Oh, that's huge. Uh, yeah. Laserdiscs are really big. You remember um, Laserdisc? Uh, oh, yes. These are all Laserdiscs. Oh, right? you have them right here! Yeah. Uh -huh. I thought these were, I guess I should have figured they were, I thought they were soundtracks. Yeah, here you go. Um... Well, we get that. Of course, I should have figured we'd have it right behind us to look at. Here you go, laser disc. Yeah, there you go. These things are. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. This thing is a fucking frisbee. <laughs> it's a vinyl. It's just a vinyl. I guess that's what they were going for. With yeah, it. it's an analog uh, medium, which is strange. You'd think it'd be digital, like a CD, but it's not. Yeah, the thing is, I think you'd have to flip them. Wouldn't you? you do. You have to flip them more than once. See, there's disc one. <laughs> yeah, fuck this. Is... Here you go, disc three. This is a losing format. Yeah, I can tell even like there's oh, nothing. Three discs. Uh, it's, this one's two, so four. That was, yeah, that was definitely why I'd say it lost from DVD and, and how smaller it is. Show them another disc for Now, yeah, now, um, here we have CED. Dude, she's fucking sinking into them, man. <laughs> Alright, what's CED? Capacitance electronic disc. Is this gonna be some sort of, like, microchip board you're gonna show me? No, well, this is, this is all it is. Now, the disc is inside here. It doesn't. Oh, it's like it a hard drive. Out. 
Yeah, you know, you put it into the machine, <laughs> oh and you God. take it out, and then it stays, in, the disc actually comes out in the machine, so you have an empty case. 75? Uh, this movie's 75. Not the movie. Uh, uh, technology. Oh, the technology was actually after beta, after VHS, even after Laserdisc. What? It came out in the early 80s. After Blu-ray. <laughs> no, no. It came out in the early 80s. It lasted for about uh, four years, and then it went under. Dude, when I, because I have the Blu-rays of Star Wars because um, it's like all you can get now and um it's an after episode seven yeah disney decides to finally release the original oh, oh i hope they do they might they might i'm sure they will um you know what's amazing yeah they, they know it'll make money uh they, 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 yeah they have no emotional they're just waiting they have no emotional attachment but i'm watching these movies because my friend had never seen star wars don't know how that's a thing but anyways i was showing him star wars and i was showing the blu-ray it just looks like some crazy person stitched that thing together it's just like there's like three decades worth of different technology just slapped on that movie like one one scene you'll have like a puppet the next yeah, scene you'll have like yeah. cgi yeah, I know. and you're like what are you what have you done yeah. to this you can't do this this is wrong filmmaking yeah. barbara what the hell is this the sequel to barbed uh, wire oh i have no <laughs> idea so basically what is you're it, telling me is i should put that on loop in my house yeah isn't it just amazing how many movies exist, really? Like it's just, I sometimes think you make something and then it's just like, now that's the past, gotta work on yeah, something yeah. else. It's like you think these people who make these movies, they make Rambo, yeah. and they just gotta go to the next one. It's just, yeah, constant, yeah. It's crazy. I guess you just get no workflow. Yeah. If you actually look it up on the internet or on IMDb, you can literally type in just about any word or phrase, and it's a fucking movie. I know! Yeah. And it's just only there for like hundred years. Yeah. And it's weird because it's like it's such a miracle that any movie gets made because it's so hard to make a movie um, without millions and millions of dollars. So it's like, how do like how does a movie like like what's things like I don't know like Time Barbarians get made? You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, right? Because you see, is this fucking a city in the back? There? Yeah, to, to get Time Barbarians. Right, they I go have through figured. <laughs> Phantom Menace. You're telling me how you? Oh, I think it's not as bad as people say it is. Mm -hmm. You actually said you preferred that one over. Uh, episodes two and three, I think. Yeah, Phantom Menace is the best prequel. They made a bit of a mistake with that movie. They should have kept Darth Maul as the antagonist for the entire series, uh -huh. because that would have given Obi Wan um, <clears throat> like the motive to do what he does, because he's trying to avenge Qui Gon Jinn. Mm -hmm. But they killed him in the first episode and left it. it was, it's it's a it's a contained mm -hmm. film. The only reason that, we, that it goes on is because people know that the story of Darth Vader has to get somewhere. But uh -huh. contained in the films, there's no motivation for any character to really do much. Mm -hmm. Past the first... I mean, I guess defeating the dark side, but, like, that's not really how... You can't really base a movie off that. You kind of have to write it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to write some characters in there. Okay. Why, why? What do you, you like the story it? better than uh, 2 and 3? Well, The Phantom Menace has a beginning... And like a middle and then a climax, whereas the other ones just are kind of weird. Like the third one ends on one of the, no! <laughs> and it's just like I, ah. I can understand that point you're trying to make about Phantom Menace, but my, my question about it is like when you're watching the movie and you see like the scenes with like Jar Jar Binks and, and whatnot. He never bothered me. I don't know why. Oh, I you know, and I was okay. I watched the original Star Wars as a kid before I watched Phantom Menace. Yeah. So maybe I was just <laughs> he doesn't bother me as much as no. everybody says. He's just a. Yeah, and I think it's refreshing to hear something different, because, like, I mean, I hate Phantom Menace. I think it's the worst one, but... Really? Yeah. Have you seen but, Attack of the Clones? Well, uh, yeah, which I...